I am humbled and extremely grateful to be receiving this honorary degree. Many thanks to Father Graham, the Board of Trustees, and the entire Xavier University faculty. To the Xavier University class of 2021, I am so honored to be a part of this historic occasion. Congratulations to all of you on this special day. What an incredible milestone to successfully fulfill the academic requirements needed to be here today, particularly during the most challenging year of all of our lives. You did it. I encourage all of you to take this time to celebrate this amazing accomplishment. I would also like to remind you to give thanks to our Lord for the gifts he has given to each of you and to your parents who made the needed sacrifices to ensure your success and to your friends who helped create the many memories you have that will last a lifetime. For the next five minutes or so, I've been asked to share with you some of my thoughts on what I have learned over the past 40 plus years since I set up my own graduation. I will touch on just three topics. One, choosing that first job and what to consider. Number two, keys to achieving greatness. And number three, building healthy habits. Choosing that first job. This is a big decision to make. Probably the biggest decision since deciding to attend Xavier University and declaring a major. I am sure you have discussed this topic with your parents, friends, and advisors, and may already have a game plan. If not, here are four factors I would consider if I was making that decision today. Number one, does the company match your value system? And preferably, is it purpose driven? I have experienced firsthand that purpose driven companies have caring cultures, allowing each individual within the organization to flourish. Number two, does the job allow you to do what you're passionate about? If the answer is yes, take the job. When you are doing something you are passionate about, it is much easier to wake up every day energized when going to work. Even if you have another job offer that pays more money, I would recommend following the job that fulfills your passion. Number three, if you don't know what your passion is, that's okay, because the majority of us do not. My advice would be to choose a company where you feel you would be challenged and will learn a lot. It is through challenges and constant learning that you will build your market value, understand your interests and passions, and feel energized each day. Number four, the role of money means different things to different people. But I would make sure your salary is commensurate with the degree you receive today. Your degree has tremendous value in this marketplace and you deserve it. The second topic I would like to provide perspective on is achieving greatness along this journey of life. Here are my top 10 keys to doing just that. Number one, Work hard and give it everything you've got each and every day because there is absolutely no substitute if you want to achieve the greatness that you have inside. Number two, create value beyond expectations. Never just complete an assignment. Always do more. This will accelerate your progression through any company. The word magic should remind you of this. Always do more for the greater glory of God. Number three, be a great team player. As most things in business are accomplished through teams. Number four, stay humble as we all have a lot to learn. 
No one likes working with those who are arrogant or always act like they are the smartest, even if they are. Number five, be a great listener, seeking first to understand rather than being understood. Better ideas come out of this approach. As the old saying goes, there's a reason God gives us two ears and one mouth. And by the way, I am still working on this area in my own life. Number six, when deciding on your leadership style, I encourage you to start today to become a servant leader. This is also consistent with Jesuit teachings and values. When I think of great leaders, I think of those who people follow because they want to, not because they need to or have to. A person that has a clear vision of where they want to go can articulate this vision to others and lives that vision every day. This is a great leader. I believe with this definition, the best leader that ever walked this earth is Jesus Christ. With 2.4 billion followers over 2,000 years after only a three-year ministry. Number seven, constantly sharpen your communication skills, both oral and written, as you can't really lead unless you can effectively communicate with others. Number eight, persevere. You will get knocked down and sometimes feel hopeless. But know that as God is in charge, he wants you to achieve the greatness you have inside. So just pick yourself up and keep moving forward. Instead of asking why me, ask what God is trying to teach you. Remember that he is always getting you ready for your next journey. Number nine, celebrate your wins and always give thanks. And number 10, give, to the, give back to the community in some way, time, talent, or treasure. It is in giving that we receive, and it's also a great way to meet new people. And the bonus, have fun and enjoy the ride. Building healthy habits. As you transition from college life to the next stage of life's journey, it's important to establish what I would call healthy habits ones that you would do every day. You, are, you might already be doing some of these things today, but if not, here are my top three. Number one, continue to build your personal relationship with our Lord. Since being a member of the Jesuit community at Xavier University, you already have a strong foundation. Make sure you build on that foundation. I personally would not be where I am today without the good Lord guiding my steps, both in business and my personal life. Join a prayer group, attend daily mass, or just spend 30 minutes of quiet time with our Lord. Number two, ensure you set time aside each day for your own personal alone time. Time to unwind or escape the challenges of everyday life. This could be working out, reading a good book, or just taking a quiet walk. Whatever works for you, you need time to relax and decompress because life can be overwhelming at times. You certainly have experienced that this year. And number three, wake up every day and ask yourself, how can I make a difference today? Start by caring, whether that is within your work environment, with your family and friends, within your community, standing in line at Starbucks, care for others. And remember, we are all called, each and every one of us, each and every day to make a difference. Your voice, your work, and your passion matters. And it all starts with one person, one day at a time. So I challenge you to go be purposeful and do more for the greater glory of God each day. Congratulations and God bless you today and always.